This man has over 3 million followers on TikTok, over 300,000 followers on Instagram, and 1.5 million followers on Facebook. His name is Michael Bundy. You've definitely seen him online doing his thing, doing the music covers, and he's been going viral for the last two years. Internationally viral, by the way, performing pretty much everywhere, even in Zambia and other parts of the world. And he doesn't do it alone. He does it with his beautiful, amazing, gifted, very brilliant young boy. His name is Fa. Faze. Faze right here. They do it. They have this studio right here in Kahawa, Nairobi. And today, Citizen Digital caught up with the creator, caught up with the super, super, superstar to get to know more about the father son singing duo. What next for the superstars and how this new phone fame means for them and his young family. Well, my name is Kabuga. This is Citizen Digital with Michael Bundy. Yes. Facing. We are the children generation. So, karibu sana kwa show, my brother. Thank you so it much. It is nice to see you. I'm a huge fan, by the way. Great job you're doing with your beautiful, beautiful boy here. Can I call you a beautiful boy or what should I call you? Handsome. Handsome. Not beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people would say you're beautiful, but anyway, it's okay. So, Michael, it's taken you a minute before we featured you on the set of the digital. Kwa yeah. we've never... No one has reached out yet. But there's a time for everything. There's a time for everything. Mm -hmm. I'm a very low-key guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm very grounded. Mm -hmm. I'm a rasta man. Oh, okay. So definitely. Without the rasta? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Obviously. You don't mm -hmm. have to dread to be rasta. <laughs> yes. So, so we just go at our own pace. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the time comes, we mm -hmm. do. We do. It's always do. the yeah. time for everything, actually. Yeah. You went viral in 2022. Yes. 2022 or 2020? Yes. One, two. 2022. How old was he? Four. Yeah, he was four. He was four. Yeah. Um, but most people know you, you, you've done like a, you know, a million songs, eh? Mm -hmm. But which song would you tell people that actually blew you and, you know, next thing you know, it's, it's going crazy? Which song was that? Was it a... Uh, uh, it was, was God it? of Vengeance. God of Vengeance. Uh, sings. How does it go? God of Vengeance. As one boy for the uh, Thank you, Daddy. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man, he has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man, he has won my battle for me. Wow. Good job. That is beautiful. <laughs> God Avengers, is that a Nigerian song? Yes. Yes, I think, yes, uh, yes. I know a few things. Eh? <laughs> how does the other one that went viral, how does it go? Just, Lord, just thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. Thank you for joy. Thank you for peace. Yes. Thank you for joy. Yes, I know that too. Mm -hmm. So you you released the song in 2022, both of them actually. Uh, 2023 is when Thank You for Sunshine came out. Yes, 2022 yes. is God of Miracles. Yes. So tell us about the feeling that you dropped that song because I know you've been doing music for quite a while unsuccessfully. Yeah. <laughs> and then now you drop this song on TikTok and it's going crazy. How was that feeling for you? I mean, how did that happen? Well, it was scary mm -hmm. because we don't do music mostly for the views. Yeah. We usually do it out of the love of music. Mm -hmm, and that was, that was the last song we ever thought would do well. Mm -hmm. So it was just one of the songs we put out there. Mm -hmm. And when it started trending, people started sending me videos on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. And I would go out on the streets and people would be like, this is you, this yeah. is you. So it was quite scary because mm -hmm. that's when everyone started knowing us. Yes. We were not expecting it. Mm -hmm. This is much. This is, no, this was around uh, June. June, okay. Yeah, June of uh -huh. 2022. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that was the biggest turning point. Yes. Because everything you. changed after that uh -huh. for the both of us. So 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 by by everything changed, would you maybe tell us what you mean by that? Well, more people knew us. Uh -huh. There was less privacy, uh -huh. especially that time we were living in a very open place. Uh -huh. Um the views went up, uh -huh. meaning the 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 Revenue that came from YouTube and mm -hmm. the music also went up. Uh, okay. So that was a good thing. Uh, that was a okay. good side of it. Yes. But also there was a negative side of it, mm -hmm. which was extreme. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, TikTok and people. Yes, have... the, the, the haters, <laughs> the haters always hate. So, so, so many, yeah. can you describe the negativity that you, you go from that? I, I don't know why anyone would hate on that. I mean, well, people hate. 
Uh, yeah. Especially we received, I would say I received because mm -hmm. I shielded him from it. Mm -hmm. I am the one who used to deal with the comments. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of racist comments. There was a lot oh. of um, uh, people hating on the song itself. Okay. But these are the things that made me realize that mm -hmm. this was actually mm -hmm. something great. Mm -hmm. Because when most people are loving something, mm -hmm. you're going to have a lot of people who are also hating. hating on it. Yes. So I was like, well... People say it, and there are still people that say great things. Mm -hmm. there, are people, this day. there are people who would comment mm -hmm. that they are in hospital beds and they're feeling better after mm -hmm. listening to that. that. That's mm -hmm. what I chose to focus on. Mm -hmm. And I told my son, mm -hmm. I've never heard it from him. He knows there are people that comment negatively. Yes, yes, he knows. Yes, yes. But we choose to focus on the, the good side of it. And he never gets to see how, it. How did it come about? At what point did you decide, I'm going to be performing with him? When, when did you know, at, at what point did you realize you're gifted musically? You could sing. Mm, since like I was two. Because now you're six. So since you're two, how did you realize you can sing? Were you singing in the shower, in your bedroom? No, mostly every time, but mostly like when I'm outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Out, out, like out here, you were just doing your thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so how did you come up with the idea, I need to incorporate my son in my crafts? How did that come about? Well, someone told me. Uh -huh. Someone saw us singing uh -huh. where we used to live in this uh, plot. Uh -huh. And someone was like, I see you singing with your son. Why uh -huh. don't you try putting it on TikTok? Uh -huh. And I told that person that TikTok is for the ladies and I uh -huh. can't put stuff there. Like, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a, like, you know, I you're, can't do it. Yeah, yeah, you're a man. <laughs> and uh, uh -huh. funny thing is when we actually put the first song, uh -huh. it blew up. And yeah. that's the song we are talking about? No, no, that's not oh, the first Oh, there's another one, okay, okay. The first song that blew up was actually a reggae song. Yeah. Or old roots mm -hmm. reggae song. Mm -hmm. And uh, once that blew up, we knew that we needed to keep doing it. There's potential. Because it was inspiring the people. Mm -hmm. And it was something different. Like, mm -hmm. if you looked at the whole of TikTok, mm -hmm. I think even if you look up to now, mm -hmm. Um, there is really no one who's been able to replicate that because yes. it's not something that we have faked, it's mm -hmm. something that grew with us. Mm -hmm. So the natural connection just grew and mm -hmm. um, God gave us the favor. That's true. Yeah. So people, people, some haters, some people would say, mm -hmm. when, does he, when, when, when does he study? When does he you know, focus on his books? We need yeah. to talk about that <laughs> because you're always producing, always shooting, always singing. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your son's learning process, musically and mm -hmm. also the books. How do you balance that? Well, I would say those are good concerns uh -huh. because they are parents, just uh -huh. like me. Yeah, like I am too. But mm -hmm. my son is uh, fully schooled, mm -hmm. but he is homeschooled. Oh, no, yes. that's one thing you don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. so People know that, right? Uh, do people know that? No, people don't know People that. don't know that, okay. He's I actually got... homeschooled. Okay. And um, the music mm -hmm. actually got him a scholarship with an international school. Oh, wow. So he got to study mm -hmm. um, the, the, the Cambridge G uh, curriculum. Is it GC? G yeah, I GSC? Think something? I, GS? I don't something, whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, well, they call it the Cambridge curriculum. Ah, uh, okay. And um, he studies from Monday to mm -hmm. Friday. Mm -hmm. And we usually do music just on... Uh, Thursday afternoon and uh, Friday uh, afternoon okay. after okay. the classes. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Wasn't holding you up, good. There's nothing I can do to let you down. Good job, son. How rigorous is it to, even I, at mm -hmm. my age, sometimes I can't learn some of these songs. There's way too many songs. <laughs> how, 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 what is the learning process like? How long does it take you to probably learn one particular song? Um, sometimes we, we print or daddy tells me the parts that I'm going to sing. Ah, okay. So you maybe like two, three lines and then you take over the, the rest of the song? Well, when we were starting... It, it must it, be crazy. I want to understand. It used to be like one word. Uh -huh. So I would sing and he would just finish up. Uh -huh. But as the days went by, uh -huh. our, our lifestyle here uh -huh. is music. So yeah. every day, uh -huh. every morning we listen to music. Uh -huh. We do vocal warm-ups together. Uh -huh. So the fact that our whole environment is just Musical music, oriented, it's so yeah. easy. Yeah. Like... There's a time I give him a verse. Mm -hmm. Like nowadays I'm challenging him with like a full verse. Oh, like right yeah. now he mm -hmm. has a full verse on mm -hmm. a song, mm -hmm. which he's gonna sing for you. Mm -hmm. But I, I give him that song mm -hmm. 
and within like an hour to his he already has, he has he has no, landed so I, i would say it's, it's mm -hmm. more like something of a gift mm -hmm. that has been given it is a gift lyrics, actually okay. let's talk about him saying thank you daddy you know every time you start a song every time you start a line what is that about ha <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. it's like it's like how you say like good job to someone uh -huh. that maybe that he has done something so good uh -huh. like he has won something you like you do that uh -huh. yeah. yeah that's what i mean so 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 whenever daddy leads the song now you feel like this is so good i want to say thank you daddy yeah uh -huh. sometimes he tells me uh -huh. and i tell him something oh yeah because he does the same too yeah, how important is that in how in in your craft just well, that words of affirmation to each other well when starting uh -huh. it was quite cr crucial uh -huh. very critical uh -huh. i noticed it when he was like three years old uh -huh. there was a time he was playing this racing game on his uh, console uh -huh. and when he was playing he would lose that game constantly uh -huh. and then at some point i started cheering him uh -huh. every time uh -huh. he would uh, like pass one guy when they're racing uh -huh. i would say good job good job yes. and he kept until he became the first and yeah. he won and when he won i saw like he was so emotional he mm. had tears in his eyes and mm. i knew like this was the answer like this affirmation this compliment mm. especially sometimes when i hear him hit a note that mm -hmm. i was not expecting so like, it just comes naturally yes, so i just like, say good job wow. sometimes i even say wow mm -hmm. you know so i think that's one of the things that can really encourage the children mm -hmm. to do better mm -hmm. that's instead true. of just uh, you know just yeah. not even telling them some things they need to hear yeah. uh, we've 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 all known your story about your struggles your serious struggles with mental health yeah. and uh, with being jobless and you know you looked at your career and you're like I'm never making it out of here mm -hmm. just how dark was that because probably <laughs> there's somebody who doesn't know that you, you had a very dark you have a very dark past and yeah. and were you able to probably work on that were you able to overcome that Yeah that that was a uh, uh, quite dark uh -huh. it started out uh, when i was very young uh -huh. i had a difficult upbringing uh -huh. and uh, a very hard environment but now moving on to the music uh -huh. the music is very hard to crack in kenya uh -huh. the industry is terrible It's tough you know uh -huh. like especially for someone who is doing conscious music uh -huh. Uh, if you're doing uh, urban tone you can really pull through easily yeah know? we see them all the time <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh, doing reggae music mm -hmm. doing music which is conscious was really difficult mm -hmm. and most of the times when i did music mm -hmm. i was still very broke and down yeah. i remember even i even got nominated for the grammy awards mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, um, a month or two later mm -hmm. i was still sleeping hungry you know wow. so that was the situation i i i got to a point where i wanted to go back to my parents to 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 to, to meru and that's the point uh -huh. that that person said uh -huh. you always spend time with uh -huh. your son singing uh -huh. why don't you try to post it because uh -huh. it really touches me uh -huh. and i was like I, i i didn't even want to to do that uh -huh. but then it's almost like god wanted to reach a certain audience through a father and son relationship yeah. and try to fix whatever is going on in the society in right life. now yeah. so was it would you say it was no because you, you you're going through it you want to go back to the village you're sleeping hungry would you say bringing him on board was a turning point in your career it was mm -hmm. it was a turning point mm -hmm. because although i had worked hard as a person mm -hmm. and uh, Still, you're not seeing any fruits i was the, i was seeing fruits mm -hmm. but i think my journey would have taken longer mm -hmm. alone if you didn't yeah if i didn't bring him mm -hmm. and i it, it wasn't also a guarantee i didn't bring yeah. him yeah, knowing that with an idea that that this would work you yeah, know yeah it was just <laughs> it was just to. it was just supposed to happen that uh -huh. way yeah uh -huh. yeah an experiment yeah. and so why why conscious music i mean you could literally just sing anything and go super viral make super crazy money why <laughs> conscious music why music with a particular message i've been singing for too long uh -huh. and i don't believe i should get to a point where i should change who i am uh -huh. so when i started i used to sing conscious music uh -huh. i used to do music that will touch the people mm -hmm. that will inspire the people i don't want to just do music that after i'm gone mm -hmm. it goes with me or after a month it's forgotten because mm -hmm. that's what happened with the, with the trends mm -hmm. but look at bob marley i wanna love you yeah
and dream to die. I wanna love you. Yeah. I say every day and every night we'll be together. Together. Right now, people still listen to him. We are watching his to movies him. today. Exactly. Yeah. So that's that's what I told him. Can, uh -huh. That's what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and that's what we're gonna keep doing until we are old and grey. Well, um, um, do you feel like do you do you love? most of the songs that daddy chooses for you or do you sometimes decide i don't like this song daddy can we try that song um both of us we both like all the songs we have we have over 236 songs wow yeah so we choose together the songs we like so sometimes daddy doesn't come up with an idea and you're like i don't like this daddy Mm. Don't be afraid. He's not going to do anything to you. <laughs> Just sometimes. It's it's always sometimes, but not too yeah. not too many times. Yeah. Right. You're always on the same page. Now, most people don't know. Most of the songs that you do are actually covers. Yeah. Covers the songs done by other people. Now you bring your own touch to it. <laughs> do you normally have? How often do you have your own? You know, do you have your own songs? Do you have? I mean, people yeah. don't know that. We, we see a lot of covers out here. We have our own songs, uh -huh. but the thing is, when you get a breakthrough, uh -huh. sometimes through a certain thing, it's Secret. not so wise to just switch up uh -huh. because your audience is going to be like, what is this? Uh -huh. You know, so uh -huh. sometimes I thought it was prudent uh -huh. to kind of do it for a while. Uh -huh build the original songs once uh -huh. in a while. Uh -huh. And now where we've gotten to a point, it uh -huh. got to a point where my son said, I don't want to do covers. Let's anymore. go with this. So you don't want your daddy to write new so content? Right, right now we're just mm -hmm. doing original music. Mm -hmm. Like from, when when was it? Um, since... Last week? Yeah, since last original week. Original music that yes. you've composed yourself. Yes. So you are a composer, do you play instruments? Yes. Are you a producer? You want to tell us about, besides the vocals, well, how um, well gifted are you musically? In yeah. other ways, probably you play an instrument, I don't know. I play the piano, mm -hmm. I play the guitar, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a producer full-time mm -hmm. uh, for 10 years now. Oh, a you've been around? Yeah. You're not very old now, are you? <laughs> no, no, no. But I started when I was around 18. So I've okay. done around 10 years of production. Oh. And uh, all the songs that we put out, I produce mm -hmm. them. Oh, all yourself, of them. yes. Uh, I, right here? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I also... I'm also a video director, so I do all the video content as well, the editing. Do you produce oh. other people? Could, could I walk in here with my... Yes. yes okay. Definitely. Do you, do you actually do that? Like Yes, okay. I do. I okay. have okay. produced... Because me. you appear not to focus too much on that. I don't know, I'm just... I'm no, just I, I, do, I do produce for many people. I've produced oh. for over 20 people. You can produce Abanton. <laughs> well, yes, I can. Abanton is just Abanton is just, just dance hall, yes. which is sung in Swahili. Yes, not, not uh, sung in Sheng. <laughs> in Sheng, uh, yes. Swahili. Yeah. You have covered quite a number. I'm, I'm going to ask you, but I want Daddy to go. In fact, you go first. Um, out of all the songs you've covered, and it's a lot, you said it's 230-something. Can you give me five of your favorites out of them all? Or th or do you have five? I'm sure you have so many. Give me five. Uh, so one, one the the most that I love so much is a song that I wrote called "Survive." You wrote? Yes. He, he writes songs. Now we need to go back to him writing songs. Yeah. But we're gonna go to that. So you wrote a song called "Survive." You love it so much. Mhm. Mm There's another song I wrote. It's called "Waterfalls," but I've not recorded it and I've not released it on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, and I also love God of Vengeance. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sunshine. That's a four. And mm -hmm. I also love his song Reggae too. <laughs> ah, okay, all right. So, Daddy, Thank tell you. us your favorite five songs out of the the uh, big, the big <laughs> catalog of music you have. Uh, there's a song we did by Taras Riley called "She's Royal." Uh -huh. I also love a song by Gramps Morgan called People Like You. Mm, I know them all now. Yeah. I love a song by Guardian Angel called Moyo Angu. Mm -hmm. I mm. love a song by Angela Chibalonza called Ebenezer. Mm -hmm. And the fifth song would be Michael Jackson, Hold My Hand. Oh, wow. Yeah. Beautiful. You agree with that, right? Tell us about <laughs> your songwriting. Uh, I, I, I didn't know that myself, actually. You are a songwriter? Composer? Yeah. Tell us about that. So I write songs. 
songs from my mind. I just think which song I'm going to write this time or this time. So mostly I tell my dad, uh, Dad, I wrote this song. Can we record it right now? Mm -hmm. And he's like, Yeah. He's like, no, we cannot record. Does he go? Does he go through some of your songs to 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 ensure that you know they're perfect? Yes. He does that. So, what is the day to day before we go to 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 the revenue part? What is the day to day life with you mm -hmm. and Faye, Fayez? Faiz. Faiz. Yeah. Your name. <laughs> what 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 is the day to day like? You wake up in the morning. How how? What is the day to day like here? Yeah. Well, we wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. pray, brush our teeth, and we do our vocal warm-ups. Uh -huh. That's important. It uh -huh. just takes 10, is it 10 minutes? 10 minutes. 10 uh -huh. minutes. Okay. So it's very quick. And then he gets into his class. Uh -huh. uh, he uses his laptop uh, and meets with the teacher online. Uh -huh. And he finishes his class at around 2? Monday, I finish at 2. Uh -huh. So he finishes at 2, and then and he then goes... The, and the other days, I finish at 12. Yeah. Okay. And then he goes outside. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do when you go outside? Just ride my bike. He rides. Oh, ride your bike. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. he does that every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, on Thursday mm -hmm. afternoon, uh, we start preparing yeah, for the, our video. Yeah, the music shoot. part now. And we do the video. And mm -hmm. on Friday, every Friday, we put out a new song. Mm -hmm. Every Friday. Does he have an active? Uh, this is Does he, Do you have an active? friend thing in the neighborhood you know do you interact with kids around here yeah do you interact with them are they your fans are they your friends i mean how, yes. what is it like yeah there there are some people in my just right there <laughs> yeah the neighborhood uh -huh. yeah so mostly i play with them uh -huh. yeah i have two uh -huh. no three here <laughs> friends eh? mm -hmm. do you feel like uh, his 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 kid friends see him differently, treat him differently. Do they even know that he's a star? They know, Do, but I don't think they see to them is just is yeah. a neighbor too. Yeah, they just love uh -huh. playing. You know, kids uh -huh. kids don't have so much uh -huh. in their minds. Yeah, they're they're not prejudiced. Uh -huh. Most of them. Yeah, exactly. Like Unlike adults. Yeah. So he he has a great time. He actually uh -huh. a lot of people when we post something is like, does this kid get to play? Yeah, does this kid exactly. Have I, I wonder. I wonder too. He, most of his time he actually mm -hmm. plays. Yes. The least time that <laughs> remains is He's when he does music. Doing music. But I should mention that on Saturdays and uh -huh. Sunday we do live streams uh -huh. as well. So uh -huh. on, on uh, TikTok. Yes. Or on all platforms. On TikTok. On TikTok. Yes. So talking about TikTok, talking about YouTube and, and Facebook where you have one point five million followers? Uh, one point almost one point three. Oh, oh okay. One point yeah. three. Mm -hmm. How has that translated to you? Revenue wise, how has that translated? The numbers are huge online, but has it translated? I mean, someone is watching and they want to be inspired. Maybe they need to pay rent from being <laughs> a popular guy. I don't know. <laughs> Does, well, is, is it working? Is it translating well, if, money wise? Well, if the main reason you do music is money, you're going to get disappointed very mm. quickly. Mm. Uh, I would say it helps, mm. but I wouldn't say that is the, 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 the main, main goal. No, no, no. That's why we have other things going around. Mm -hmm. We have the studio, mm -hmm. we have other sources of revenue. Mm -hmm. I also do other works. Mm -hmm. I make websites mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. But if you're talking about YouTube, mm -hmm. and uh, I would say YouTube, Facebook, mm -hmm. they really help, mm -hmm. especially YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Facebook is not fully monetized. Because you've monetized your, your stuff on YouTube, so you get paid. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. we, we do get paid. Mm -hmm. I can say at least the pays the, the rent, mm -hmm. pays the rent, buys mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. you know, the basic That's the, the basic stuff, okay. Yeah. We haven't seen you in a lot of concerts in Kenya. Yeah. You, you, you were in Zambia? Yes, other day. yes. Tell us about the Zambia thing and then we talk about Kenya. Uh, Zambia was amazing. That oh, was you will tell us about your experience too? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, okay. It was so fun right there. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of people in the stage, but I wasn't so scared, yeah. Because you're very confident, right? I was actually so what, the one who was scared. What, oh, really? Funny what, what was that about, actually? You, you, you went for a show, you went for a... Yeah, we went for a show. Mm -hmm. It was our first mm -hmm. live show. Ever. But it was also our first international show. Yes. And that was the best show we have done ever since we started. Mm -hmm. We've done shows in Kenya, but not mm -hmm. like shows per se. We've mm -hmm. done corporate gigs where mm -hmm. we go to an office and sing. Mm -hmm. But Zambia was great because they called us there. Mm -hmm. They paid for our trips. Mm -hmm. They 
they paid Took us, care. like they did, they took care of us. Ah. When we got there, uh-huh. we got treated like we were, now you see the way they treat MPs. Or, yeah, yeah, the, the, the way we treat Davido. <laughs> yes. Or, or Banner Boy or, yes. or Wizkid. Exactly. Once they come to perform here. Yes, that's uh-huh. what happened for us there. Ah. We got there, mm-hmm. we, we found them waiting at the website, the media was there, yeah. the cars were there. The whole VIP thing. Yeah. Really cool. Lots of bodyguards. Ah. We had like 11 bodyguards. Yes. Uh, around 11 oh, bodyguards. Wow. <laughs> that How did you <laughs> feel? How did that make you feel? Wow, so, I, like, so good. So good. Do you, feel nice. like, do you feel like your Kenyan fans have showed you the kind of love you expect them to show you? Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 the, the Kenyan fans are perfect. Mm-hmm. The Kenyan fans have shown us love. And not just online, I'm talking about everywhere, even offline. Because Kenyans, Kenyans uh-huh. are known to be very snobbish <laughs> and they tend to, to, to pretend, I don't care about that celebrity. Like if I meet Nameless at a mall, Kenyans don't care, but in Nigeria, if you David is walking in a mall, it's a big deal. Yeah. But if 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 Nyashinsky is walking at a mall at Zappa Garden City, Kenyan fans don't care, but they love him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What would you say about that? Well, Kenyans are difficult people. It, yes. We are difficult. They are. Um, but mm-hmm. if it was not for them, I would not have Wouldn't gotten be. there. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the, good, the thing is that they have opened the doors mm-hmm. that were needed mm-hmm. to bring us out there. International audience. International. Mm-hmm. They watch the videos on YouTube. Mm-hmm. They're still the top audience mm-hmm. there, the Kenyan mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. So they pay the bills through mm-hmm. those adverts. Mm-hmm. But if we are talking about the organizers of the events. Mm-hmm. Calling you for shows. Calling us for shows. Mm-hmm. All that that, 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 that is not, I wouldn't say Kenya is really even in our list in terms of I know, I know. Uh, the people we target. Yeah. Because, um, and I, I'm going to say this mm-hmm. openly because mm-hmm. this is wrong. You find someone will call you for a show mm-hmm. and they'll want you and your son to go and perform. Mm-hmm. And then they'll want you to go just there for free. Exposure. You, you can, you can they, they, they call it exposure. But, but we are to occupy your platform. <laughs> That's what they say. I know that. But you've already built your yeah. platform. You know? yeah. You've worked really hard. Mm-hmm. Like he says, we've done 230 songs. Mm-hmm. So he's not going to be out there doing shows for it's nothing. A, it's, it's about time you they know? paid. They, they have to. And he knows. Mm-hmm. He knows his worth. He knows mm-hmm. that. Because one day he's going to be big mm-hmm. and he's going to sing alone. Mm-hmm. You know? Not and always under your He's shoulders. not always going to be singing with me, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So at that time, he needs to know how to ask for mm-hmm. his compensation and all that. Mm-hmm. And the funny thing is you find those countries out there mm-hmm. that call you, they, they will pay you really well. And they understand, they understand yes. artistry yes. and you know how to pay for artists. Yes. Besides music, which you clearly love, what else do you love to do so much <laughs> or as you really into? Um, mostly, sometimes I love cars. Okay. Yeah, and I... Oh, yeah, with singing, mm-hmm. and I also love like seeing anima graphs and all those things. Those all those things that young boys like you would love. Can you tell me two role models besides your father? I know he he's a huge role model to you. Two people you look up to in the world, and you're really inspired by what they do, and you'd love to be like them maybe in future. Um, mostly him. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. I'd uh, be shocked if it wasn't him. Uh-huh. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> Most and like one of my favorite people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Taras Riley. Ah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. You have guys you're looking up to. You, you, you're thinking, I'd love to go into the studio with this particular singer. I'm sure they're from Jamaica. <laughs> who who, who and, are they? I love Gramps and, Morgan. And also, <laughs> Gramps Morgan too. Mm-hmm. He's really, really cool. How did Peter's death hit you, Peter Morgan? <sighs> that, that was, uh, I would say it was unexpected. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't think that would happen. Mm-hmm. This is one of the people that my son and I watch a lot mm-hmm. on TV. I know. The reason we do that is because I train my son to sing live, mm-hmm. not uh, to use effects mm-hmm. and auto-tune and mm-hmm. all that. So Peter Morgan was like the best singer mm-hmm. with Gramps Morgan there, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So we used to watch their shows. Uh, we know their songs mm-hmm. a lot. And I, I kind of in my dreams thought yeah. maybe one day we'll you, work with them on or, something. Yeah. Uh, the dream is still valid mm-hmm. uh, because we um, have Peter, we, we have, have uh, Gramps. Uh, Gramps, yeah. 
but uh, that, that was really sad but uh, on the good side is okay. that his legacy his music it's untainted mm -hmm. everything he did it's there intense. was no nothing mm -hmm. no scandal nothing like mm -hmm. he lived a straight life that inspired people mm -hmm. like he, he didn't take no shortcuts and all that he, he really did a good job tell us about Atana, the collaboration Th that was a good good uh, chance mm -hmm. that was in 2022 i think 2021 the album the album was nominated for a grammy award yeah i think 2022 yeah i think it's 2022 not 2021 yeah mm -hmm. this is a message to itana and i know she'll get it someday it was a nice experience. Mm -hmm. um, a bit Did you challenging. work with her in the studio or just sent no. you vocals and um, then they merge it up? I sent her vocals mm -hmm. yeah, and then they just worked on it. Ah. Yeah, it, it was cool. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't what I expected. Mm -hmm. I expected more, mm -hmm. but I was grateful for what for The little happened. you got. Yeah. The little you got. Yeah. What's next for Michael Bundy and our beautiful, beautiful, handsome? Young man, what, what are the projects you're working on? Is there an album in the in the in the, in the kitchen? <coughs> yeah, we we are working on a, an an album, mm -hmm. a reggae album, mm -hmm. original, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. We are not really into the covers so much. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're gonna do once one touch. One or two covers, because yeah. my fans were covers, but don't you Yeah, but covers are just uh, not our cup of tea anymore because sometimes they also cause a lot of issues mm -hmm. with original artists. Copyright. And it's time we tell our story mm -hmm. as a father and son. Mm -hmm. So we are working on a reggae album, mm -hmm. 10 songs. Mm -hmm. It's called um, CTRL. Mm -hmm. uh, CTR? L. That's control, right? Yes, yes. Okay. A control plus. In computer terms. Yes, control uh -huh. plus. Actually, it's okay. called CTRL plus. Uh, okay. Uh, which is going to have some of his original songs. Uh -huh. some, some of, of my original songs, yeah. All produced by me mm -hmm. here. Uh, are, you, are you featuring in, in either one's songs? Are you, are you going to yes. be in his songs then? Yes. Oh, so when you write your songs, you have him in mind, you have his parts, right? Yes, and okay. his songs that he did for a long time, mm -hmm. we feature, I, he features me. Okay, true. Yeah. So everybody's going to be in each other's, I don't know how to say this properly. Yes, yes I get it. I get what you're saying. Uh -huh. And on top of that, uh -huh. we are also looking to incorporate uh -huh. some artists, uh -huh. um, trying to see if Roman Vago can jump in on the bus. That would be nice. Trying to see if Cecile, Elaine, someone can Chris jump Martin. in right there. Chris Martin. Uh -huh. These are people who really support me. And, uh -huh. and this is the thing I, I, I want to I mention uh -huh. before we finish. Uh -huh. These artists from out there support more than our local artists. Yeah. Because I've tried reaching out to our artists here. And it's crazy. They, they Most don't, of them, they don't even respond. Yeah. They're like, you're going to be yeah. like, can we do something? I'd like a feature. Mm -hmm. They don't respond. Really? But you're going to see Taras Riley. I, I see Romain mm -hmm. sometimes like DM me on Instagram oh. when I share his song. Oh. He's like, thank you for sharing oh. that on your status. And local you artists, know. they don't do that. They don't do that. I, uh, let's I, just be blunt. Right? I have not seen them they, do that. They, I don't think they, they, which, which, which local artist would you say you've had the best experience with? Maybe if you haven't, then it's okay you haven't. Uh, I have had a good experience with Guardian Angel. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. He, you covered his song as well? Yeah, he, okay. he shares. Mm -hmm. He's quite kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now in Guinea Most of them are to respond. By I, know, I know he has a small <laughs> sister. Yes. Uh, you live with them. You raise them as a he, single father? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Yes. Maybe I put your madam or your dog because <laughs> uh, do you mind? Well, I, I, like I said, I'm a very grounded person. Mm -hmm. So I try to keep myself grounded mm -hmm. and keep my family away from the the limelight, the limelight the madness, yeah. because it's not really necessary for them. Mm -hmm. um, the people that they know are us, mm -hmm. but a lot of them ask. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I I have a family. Mm -hmm. I'm married, mm -hmm. and I raise uh, two kids. Oh wow! That's as far as I can go. I respect <laughs> that. Yeah. Look at the camera and tell your fans something nice. Thank you guys for supporting, and I hope you have a wonderful time. God bless you, and remember every time, pray so that God can bless you and give you the three things you need. Life, prosperity, and honor. Wow, wow. so beautiful. Now, I want you to, to, to just do a small whatever, pick whichever song you want to pick. Do something for, for the crowd. Just something short, precise. All right, we're going to do our original song that is coming out next week, right? All right, so let's go.
<laughs> start God. God said everybody must work. So me run like boat on the truck. When the beer just drop on the truck, Daddy and I have to start fight. I ain't clumsy. I don't slug. I am powered by the grace of God. Even when life tougher than tar, face plenty I could be the top star. Me want money in me pocket, so me hustle every day. Money in me pocket. Yeah, me want get paid one. Pocket. Hey, me tell you, say me want money in me pocket. Mmm, me want money in me pocket. So me hustle every day. Money in me pocket. Yeah, me want get paid one. Money in me pocket. Hey, me tell you, say me want money in me pocket. Mm. Nice. Kaboom! <laughs> and that is Michael Bundy, and he's a beautiful, amazing, gifted son. Faze, doing a good job right here on Citizen Digital. Please catch this interview and more. We'll see you next time. My name is Kabuga. No retreat. No surrender. Yeah.